Are you ready? Cut. <laughs> Looks like you've been replaced, babe. <laughs> I guess so. All right, crew, we actually haven't been replaced. We're back with another episode of the Oz Trail's Finest. And this time, we're at a really cool trail, one of many. This one's called Leopard's Loop. Now, there's a couple different reasons why this one stands out. First and foremost, it's paved. So one of the things that's happening here is the trail crews are paving the trail. So it makes them all weather rideable but it also makes areas that are very good for people to come and learn and progress. And even really high level riders can come out and have fun on a trail like this. Would you agree, Mama Bear? I would agree, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's almost like being on a roller coaster, this one. I think it's, it's fun. Um, you newer riders can control their speed and go down as slow as they'd like, but obviously some like you can group down. And it's just, it's fun and it's short, so you can just go back and session it. Yeah, I think that's a key. It's a session zone. So again, one of many here. And we're not far from downtown. It's a quick pedal. You can literally come down Northwest A Street right into where we're at now, or you can drive here. There's spots to park. Um, you got the cool Agra hood. Yeah. Red barn right there. And so have you ever just hung out there with your ladies and watched the kids ride? I have. Yeah, uh, just a couple weeks ago, we were over at Red Barn. Uh, there was a fire going. We had some s'mores going and Dex was with a group of kids and just was able to, they said, all right, we're off. They made sure there weren't cars because there is a street right here. They crossed the street and were able to do a session the trail. I mean, it's crazy. He's almost five and a little nervous, but things went pretty well. Yeah. Fire and s'mores. Where was I? Um, you were in Phoenix. <laughs> I was working. So it's, it's really cool. The area, it's just, it's awesome. You can come here, you can session over and over and over again if you want. Newer riders, advanced riders, build that confidence, have some fun, or you can add this to part of a bigger run. So literally right over on the other side of Red Barn is Red Barn and Barn Burner. So check that video out, but then you have Hammer Down this way and then more of Slaughter Pen that way. So stuff everywhere. So easy roll in and you can have fun right here. You could double, you could try to manual and then work your angles on these turns. So you can just let it roll, slowly build up speed, or you can throw a few pedal cranks in, little double. So get the bike leaned over, weight that outside pedal. Two options here. We're gonna go right, hit that little booter, cruise through, really fun, great traction, but use these turns. Lean the bike over. And so here, I'm gonna come into the right. I'm gonna come in high, lean the bike over. Stay high, lean the bike over. So you got options. Right side is that lip. We stayed left. Here, I'm gonna hit this little lip. Boost it. Check my speed, roll through. A little steep lip right there. And there you go. We're gonna do a little manual out for good measure. And that's it. So from there, a couple different options. You can roll up the sidewalk like this or you can go left like we're gonna do the way it was intended and we're gonna hit the return so right up here back this way and what's great is this does really well uh, even after some rain so come check it out you can go right follow the trail that way or get a little catwalk action Spring break, 
it's in the air and the trails are teeming with people. So this shot, this breakdown is a little addendum to what we already had planned out because we've seen numerous people come through and not heed my advice. So I think we're a little late in making this one, Brock, but it's okay because we're gonna make up for it right now. When I said come in high and drop down low, I'm talking about the angles. So I wanna show you, I wanna describe it to you. People get down, and this trail is great. Leopards is fun for almost everybody, but you have to think about a few things. Now, when you come into these turns, what most people are doing is they're coming in down here, they're sitting down, they're super tense, and their speed is carrying them right up here. And then some of them just freeze up and fall over. So do the exact opposite. What you wanna do as a rider is come in up here. So come in up here, and then drop down. So. So when you do that, and you come in high, if you're carrying enough speed, if you're confident enough, you can roll all the way through the top of the berm as it was intended. But if you're nervous, you can drop into the seat, put your foot down, and roll right down. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to go about this. We're gonna start with the wrong way and go with the right way. Okay, so here we go. This is commonly what happens. People come in and they're nervous and they go like this and they go up to there. So in that instance, the angles are working against you. Come in higher and roll down. So this is the next evolution. Okay, so next evolution. If you're nervous, fine, come in. My foot is out, come in and turn down this way. So now you're in a much safer position. You're still centered over the bike. When that becomes a little bit more confident, then what you can do is try to stand up. When you stand up, the weight instantly goes low into the pedals. Slowly bring that angle all the way around. So make a nice, solid arc. Keep progressing. That's the beauty of this trail and these turns. Incredible traction, incredible angles. Come out, use it, practice it, build that confidence. All right, all right, all right. So now you're down to the bottom, and this is where some would argue the fun starts. So a couple really sweet jumps, and I say sweet because they're designed with progressivity in mind. So if you look back there, you can see to my right, a little bit steeper lip, and it was funny because Dex earlier said, do I have to hit that lip? Because he rolled in and blasted off that, and the outcome wasn't the greatest, but that's what's awesome about this. Swing it down to your right, so to the rider's right, or it's nice and smooth. Roll over it, get a feel for the energy. And when you're feeling spicy, push it out to the left and whoosh, throw a little steez down. There you go, Leopard's Loop, just like that. By far one of my favorite trails for a couple different reasons. Uh, rideable in almost all kinds of weather. Super fun, super progressive. Newer riders, more advanced riders. And you can just rip it over and over again. So we pop out right there, we got three different options to get back. If we're in quick mode, we can stay right and just cruise right up the sidewalk. Or you drop in here, you got two prescribed routes back up, so you can follow the cool single track off to the right, but if you want to test your balance skills a little bit, you can stay off to the left and hit the pretty sweet catwalk. And don't, don't worry, it's not too high off the ground, and it's not that skinny, so it's a fun little challenge to get you, I don't know, a little more confident. All right, so now you notice Mama Bear and Baby Bear aren't here. They're up top snapping on uh, Ollie Makes Bakes, so I'm gonna rip back up and grab some of that goodness. Let's go. All right, there we go, another one in the books. Oz Trails Overview, Leopard's Loop. Super fun trail, paved. Now, come out, visit Bentonville, bike Bentonville. Make it a plan to visit this one amongst all the other rad trails. So um, if you're looking for more insight, check out the rest of the how-tos and the overview series. And uh, shoot me a message, let me know you're coming out. Maybe check out a ride series clinic or 
If you want me to show you around these trails, maybe do some skills work, shoot us a message. Info at the rideseriesmtb.com. You could also follow behind the scenes at the Rich Drew for all the stuff that you don't see here. So yeah, there's some outtakes and that's where we had those. So yeah, it's a beautiful spring day. Uh, I think we're about to go hit Small American and maybe make another trail overview for you. So I uh, hope that helped. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, peace out, dumpers. <laughs>